Welcome to The Late Show. I'm your host, Stephen Colbert. Thank, thank you very much, citizen. Well, as you can tell by the energy in the room, it's Friday. And you know what we say on Friday? Light fuse and get away quickly. <laughs> One thing we learned this week is that there is no more Republican Party. It belongs to Donald Trump. The GOP is now the gross orange pile. <laughs> Trump. Because he's got him, right? He's got the balls and a little felt sack in his pocket. Oh, Trump has forced out any meaningful opposition, and everybody else is falling in line like frightened ducklings. As Trump tweeted yesterday, do not underestimate the unity within the Republican Party. <laughs> and uh, I believe we actually have him saying it on footage. You underestimate the unity, the dark side. But among his allies are also our enemies. Because it's time for this week's Russia Roundup. Yeehaw! Yeehaw! Remember the dossier? You guys remember that? Yeah. yeah. The collection of dirt on Trump's Russia connections. Well, it's in the news again. Now, before you ask, no, we don't have the PP tape. <laughs> You'll know what we do. <laughs> but it'll be on a loop. But. <laughs> We did learn this week that the Clinton campaign and the DNC paid for the research that led to the dossier. That is a huge scandal for our sitting not president. <laughs> she might be unpeached. <laughs> of course, Donald Trump made a huge deal out of it, retweeting a Fox and Friends bulletin. Clinton campaign and DNC paid for research that led to the anti-Trump fake news dossier. The victim here is the president. No, 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 sir. Sir, the victim, as always, is that Russian mattress. You're fine. Okay. So the Democrats paid to find dirt on their opponent, and they found some. And here's the scandal. They didn't use it. She lost. Why didn't you use it? Forget stronger together. Why wasn't it stronger without a Russian stooge who loves the pee pee? <laughs> and <laughs> it's got a ring to it. It's got a I like Ike. And before the Clinton campaign paid a dime, all of this Oppo research was actually funded by an unknown Republican client during the GOP primary. Now, with 17 Republicans running in last year's primaries, it could have been anybody. Jeb Bush. Hmm. Jeb Bush. <laughs> now, Trump supporters are now trying to claim that Clinton funding the dossier proves Trump's innocence somehow. Fox News even wrote this headline, Trump rips Clinton DNC Russia collusion reports. No. No, they did not collude with Russia. If they paid to find out that Trump colluded with Russia, that's not collusion. What you're saying is like running a headline that says, Trump rips Al Roker for colluding with humidity. <laughs> now, he seems angry. He seems really angry right there. <laughs> now, one of the ways the Trump campaign is accused of colluding with the Russians is they wanted to release damaging emails which were hacked by the Russians and given to WikiLeaks. But there was no indication of any of that during the campaign, right? Russia, if you're listening, I hope you're able to find the 30,000 emails that are missing. Okay, that's Russia. But <laughs> Trump never said anything about WikiLeaks. WikiLeaks! I love WikiLeaks. Oh, we love WikiLeaks. Boy, they have really WikiLeaks. Boy, I love reading those WikiLeaks. Okay, but that's just locker room talk. There's no proof. <laughs> There's zero proof that they tried to team up with Julian Assange other than this. Trump data guru, I tried to team up with Julian Assange. <laughs> but, but then again, when he was asked about it, WikiLeaks founder and Mike Pence in witness protection, Julian Assange, <laughs> tweeted, I can confirm an approach prior to November last year. I can confirm that it was rejected by WikiLeaks. That's right, a fugitive, wanted by the CIA, trapped in the Ecuadorian embassy for five years, rejected an overture from what could be the next president of the United States. Who's that on the phone, Donald Trump? I'd rather go to Gitmo. 